She lied. Some people value their privacy. Best not to judge, brother. When I require your counsel, Head, I will ask. Fair enough. Get me to Tyr's temple in the Lake of the Nine, and I'll get you to Jotunheim as promised. We know the temple. What's there? Only the last living giant in Midgard. Who better to tell us the way? The World Serpent? Wait, do you know how to talk to him? Indeed. He speaks an obscure <laughs> tongue more ancient even than these mountains. None are left in Midgard who speak it. Except, of course, for me. You do? It's true. You wouldn't know it to look at him, but Jormungandr is a sparkling conversationalist.
Read it. Yes, sir. They their need things upon all who trespass. Needings are ancient curses, old magic, best to avoid. So, Mimir, why did Frey spin your face? No. Speak of Balder. He claims nothing harms him. Aye. Balder is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. Boasting of a god. Everyone has a weakness. Not him, I'm afraid. Balder is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. You just said that, Mimir. Did I? What is the source of this power? Well, as I recall, it, it involved, uh... Spell? Mimir? Parts of my brain must still be coming back to life. Just need a moment to finish waking up. Hope he's not broken. Mimir, we're on the lake. Perfect. Dock us near the bridge. Tell me why Frey spin your face. Enough. No stories. Not while on foot. Our focus is the road. Completely understand. I'll finish later, lad. Ed, how do we speak to the serpent? There's a horn on a platform at the middle point of the bridge. Take me to it. Finally! That horn! I put my lips to the horn. you made in honor of Thor, and seeing as the world serpent absolutely abhors the fat dauber, he was probably sick of looking at it. But doesn't that hurt? 
Well, he and Thor have a bit of an unpleasant history between them. Or they will, anyway. I guess waking up to see it was worse than the thought of lumps of solid stone passing through his gullet. You want me to ask him? No. Our only concern is Jotunheim. <laughs> Members me. Why you? Oh no, that's not right. Eh. Maku no untunku. travel rune that opens realm travel to Jotunheim. Second, we need to carve that rune into the special gateway. That one of the people we first met you? Correct. Except the giants, in their infinite wisdom, saw to it that no ordinary chisel would do the job. Only the tip of a magical chisel opens that gate. Luckily, I know where it is. And it's not far. He looks kind of mad for a moment, though. Now that, you thought I said you were friends of Odin. Oh, forgive me, I've never spoken the ancient tongue sober. Wait, look! The water's dropped even further. You can see more of the realm towers and statues. I haven't seen new places to explore along the shore. Where is this chisel? Find me a boat, and we'll go from there. I can read what this says now, but it's a name. Air! Whoa! The name made it light up! It's the name of one of the Valkyries. That's quite curious.
so when we get to the boat, we can either look for that special chisel now, or go exploring for a little while. I'm happy with whatever you want to do. <laughs> Nightmares! Ugh! What awful pain! <laughs> Here. Boy. Yes, sir. Another map. That will find something useful here. Have you made it out of Fafnir's storeroom yet? Hey, Sindri. Have you met Mimir? Uh, if you mean the severed head that keeps blinking at me, please keep it away. There is no possible way that's hygienic. Oh, that's nice. Lovely to see you too, Sindri. Nob. towards the statues of the oarsmen, then thread past between them. Amir, you never did tell me why Freya spit in your face. Well, she blames me in large measure for her present circumstances, and not totally without reason. It all goes back to the long war between the Aesir and Vanir. Prior to that, wars for the Aesir were easily won. But the Vanir had proved their equal and exacted devastating damage. But I can just tell you this story later. You were taken from this realm too early. Thank you, Watcher! 
you consider the tactical retreat? This chisel we seek, what is it? I'm glad you asked, actually. I have just the story for you. <clears throat> there was a giant once named Thamlin. A very giant giant. Who, despite his mountainous size, was without question the greatest stonemason this world had ever seen. Proud Thamur hoped to one day pass his vast knowledge onto his son. But young Harimthur had the heart of a warrior. Perhaps the father had too much fear in him, or the son too little. Either way, a quarrel of theirs spiraled out of control, and the overworked stonemason, bonk, struck his son. Arimthur ran off into the night. Feeling shame and regret, Thamur chased after his son, but in his emotional state, soon found himself wandering Midgard, lost and alone. Sadly, he caught the eye of the one person he didn't want to meet alone that night, so far from home. Thor. And? What happened next? You'll see. Thor killed him. Oh no. He fell in the village? Aye. When Thamur fell, he crushed a charming place famed for worshipping the Vanir god Njord. Thor always took credit for planning that one. But truth is, the sweaty ball bag just got lucky. Hostiles. A wolver! A dangerous beast. We will take him down together. Just give the word.
greasy chisel. The tip of one, yes. A very, very giant chisel. That big crystal on the giant's ring looks promising. Trick lad. Thanks. His idea. Oh, Thamur was a frost giant. When he died, his final breath froze everything. It's magically locked. Find the tip of that chisel. That's the magic we need. Enemies. Do we fight them? 